It's nuptial flight time again here in Australia, and today we're going to have a look at the Armatelica nuptial flights. Stay tuned. Well, it's been raining here in Australia the last uh, couple of days in New South Wales, uh, where I currently live, and the ants have been out in force. So nuptial flights um, have started. It's spring here, September, and these are the green-headed ants, their common name, or the Retido Panera Metallica, which is their Latin name here. So these are a beautiful ant um, to keep. They've got that real green metallic um, coloring to them, and um, they've actually got a, quite a painful sting as well. Been stung many times by these uh, little girls. So if you uh, look at some of my other videos, what you'll see is um, a bit more of my colonies on these. If you want to see them up nice and close, I've got some good videos there if you like. But while I was walking around, I was able to see this nuptial flight taking place. So plenty of queens, plenty of drones here, as you see, coming out of the nest and running about. Occasionally the workers would grab the old queen and drag her back down into the nest as well. But it was quite a good thing to watch, so I hope you guys enjoy this sort of footage. Sometimes it can be hard to capture nuptial flights uh, actually happening and I'm glad I was able to capture these green-headed ants in their nuptial flight as you can see here. Now the queens of this species are semi-claustral and that means they do need to eat um, when they're producing their brood and growing them so they need to leave the uh, nesting chamber and go out in search of food. Um, a bit of a difference to the claustral queens, which can just stay in the nest until the uh, nanitics actually hatch and go hunting for her as well. So very, um, quite a large nuptial flight here. Uh, went on for several hours as well. Didn't film all of that. Um, I did have actual work to do, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video anyway. Um, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. And give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind as well. It just uh, helps me out, gets many people to see this and just helps grow our hobby of ant keeping. I hope you're really enjoying ant keeping. If you do have any questions on this particular species, let me know and I'll do my best uh, to answer those questions for you. So thanks very much uh, for watching uh, this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this footage and I'll leave you with a little bit of this now. One thing you will notice uh, with these particular queens is they're actually a very similar size to the workers and that can make it quite hard to identify them when they have dropped their wings. Um, but you will be able to see they have a slightly, slightly larger thorax on them. Um, you can see the drones buzzing around as well. They look very wasp-like in appearance. Um, so you can see them all piling out of the, uh, the nest here as well. So this is really cool. I'm really happy I managed to capture some of this footage. Um, I caught another nuptial flight earlier on. I've done another video on that. That was the meat ants, uh, which are really common here in Australia, well known. And um, yeah, so it's just good to be able to get those nuptial flights. Awesome, guys. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, as I said, if you can subscribe and give it a thumbs up, that'd be really uh, beneficial to me and my channel and help it grow as well. But most importantly, happy ant keeping.